Hi, I'm Bob Weir with another interview of People in the News in North Texas. My guest today is Derek Barr, director of the Dallas chapter of the Post Traumatic Stress Disorder, PTSD, Foundation of America. Thank you for being here, Derek. I appreciate it. Uh, if you would, please begin by telling our viewers something about your background. Well, Bob, I, uh, I joined the military in 2006, um, and then 07, 08, deployed to Iraq with the 2nd Striker Cavalry Regiment. From there, we came back, um, and I did three more tours uh, to Afghanistan. One in 2010-11, one in 2012-13, and one in 2015 and 16. Um, after that 15-16 tour, I started my process to go ahead and get out of the military. Uh, the wife was getting kind of tired of imagine. deployments. Yeah, <laughs> so, imagine. you know, I wanted to be a father and a husband. Um, but I felt a need to continue my mission with veterans and soldiers, so I went ahead and I enlisted into the Army National Guard, where I currently serve as a platoon sergeant uh, with the 2nd second, um, second 142nd and the 56th IBCT. Wow. One tour in Iraq and three in Afghanistan. Correct. Wow. Yeah. A lot of time spent over in those countries. Well, thank you for your service. You know it. Uh, okay, for, for those who may not know, what's the definition of PTSD? Well, uh, Bob, basically it's defined as a normal reaction to an abnormal situation. Uh, medically, it involves a renewing of the brain. Trauma stacked on top of trauma. And the brain, um, during traumatic situations, tends to kind of shut down and those memories get spread through the brain. So it's hard for the brain to process the memory completely and fully. So what we do is obviously it's kind of tough to, to identify initially, but a lot of the symptoms from anger, sleeplessness, insomnia, uh, from anxiety, depression, um, you know, all these things kind of just compound and really put the veteran in a situation that they just don't know or understand what's going on. And so they, what they do is they'll isolate, they'll, they'll take back their own self from people and situations, uh, and that creates obviously a gap for them because they need the social aspect. If they don't have a social aspect and they're left to themselves, they end up getting kind of destructive uh, in wow. a way. Yeah, it sounds like a rewiring of the brain. It you know, is. Like a, from, from all that trauma. Well, you know, a recent study indicated that more than 20 veterans commit suicide nationwide every day. What could be done to help those people suffering from this? Well, before we get to the help, um, it's good to identify the VA came out with that study. And so that study is of veterans that are enrolled into the VA. So 20.6, one every 65 minutes a vet has taken his life. Really, that number is a lot higher if you, you take into account for the veterans that do not enroll into the VA. Now, the VA has good programs. The medication is important, but sometimes that's all they do. Um, so what we do on the foundation level is we like to get them involved, get out of the house, get them talking with one another that have been through the same thing. So that's where we come into play. So we hold these things called warrior groups throughout our communities. And these warrior groups are peer to peer. And all we're doing is just discussing what we've been through. And then we really like to focus on the, on the, the spiritual side. Um, you know, the PTSD Foundation is a faith-based organization. And so we try to figure out where is the spiritual side for them and how can we bring them to that to where they can start actually asking the questions, okay, where was God during my trauma? All right, well, let's work through that. And that's what our, our uh, warrior groups do. We work through those processes. And then we get them involved, giving back. So we try to do these things like the barbecue coming up. We get them out talking with people, discussing it with people who've never experienced it. And that helps them kind of reintegrate and react in the social aspect. Yeah, you mentioned the, uh, the barbecue. Your organization is hosting the second annual uh, barbecue fundraiser this Saturday right here in Parker Square in, in Flower Mound. Excited. And it's uh, Saturday from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. So you want to tell us a little more about that? Yeah, so uh, last year we did it in Dallas uh, down by the VA at the uh, Veteran Resource Center. Great location. Uh, we were actually able to feed a lot of homeless vets 
during that time too. Um, that money that was raised uh, it was really good for us because it solidified this year for us. Now, we went ahead and chose Flower Mound because, I mean, the, the community is, is just amazing here. Uh, the Parker Square, centralized. It's off your main strip, so it's going to get a lot of traffic. We know that. But also, our director of events, uh, Susan Back, she's a local Flower Mound girl. And she really loves this community. And I was like, you know what? I think we should go ahead and have it there because of the support that Flyer Mount gives to its veterans, its local police departments, fire departments, and such. Right, right. Yeah, there is, uh, there is a lot of support uh, from the Flower Mound community, uh, the environs of Flower Mound throughout Denton County. This is a it's a very um, basically conservative uh, area, and right. um, a, a lot of people do support the police and and the military. So th that is a good location for it. I'm sure you're going to do well there. Definitely. Thank uh, you. So as I understand it, um, folks uh, can eat barbecue uh, for free, and uh, they'll learn something about PTSD. Yeah. So we're gonna, we're going to have eight cook teams there. So these are uh, local um, sponsors, local businesses that have said, you know what. We want to throw our hat in with the PTSD Foundation of America. They're doing good things. So they went ahead and bought a sponsorship and a cook team. So we'll have a ton of barbecue for the people to eat. Mm -hmm. I mean, a ton of barbecue. The nice thing is the city of Flower Mound has been amazing in the aspects of helping us get our permits. So we make sure that we are, one, safe for its local mm -hmm. residents. And two, we're keeping in code with the laws uh, of Flower Mound. And so everything's going to be, I can't tell you how much fun it's going to be. So we have a kids area where we're going to have bounce houses. So it's going to be family, family fun. We're going to have a live auction. We're going to have a silent auction. We're also going to do a raffle. We have five bands playing throughout the day. Whoa. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, we'll have five live bands playing throughout the day. One of them is a local veteran who is within our uh, warrior group in North Dallas. He's going to go ahead and finish it off, and he's going to give a testimony. Um, so really, I think for the people coming out and supporting us and learning what we do and, and how we uh, grow, it's because of communities like Flower Mound. It's because of, of the dollars that are given. And on that number, with the dollars that are coming in, we can actually go back and say, hey, uh, or 2016, 2017, 92 cents on the dollar went back to veterans with an eight set overhead for every dollar that was given. And that's pretty amazing. Yeah, barbecue and bands at Barker Square. Wow, it doesn't get much better than that. <laughs> it's not. I, yeah, it's a perfect area for it. And, and this is a low crime area as well, you know, so that's one of the other uh, facets about Wild Mountain, a great place to live. Um, so uh, those who are interested in making a donation while they're there, they, they'll be uh, able to do so. Yeah, they'll, right? they'll have an opportunity to, to give in, in a lot of different ways. Uh, we will have uh, merchandise for, um, for donation, hats, shirts, um, and other things like that. But also, if they want to go ahead and give a money donation, um, they can make their checks payable to the PTSD Foundation of America Dallas, um, and we'll take that money. We'll, do, we'll uh, deposit it and make sure that it's uh, being taken care of. Those dollars, what we tend to, tend to do with those dollars is food for our veterans at our warrior groups, uh, payroll for my veterans that are mentors that are helping other vets, and the big thing is, is we're going to be taking that dollar and turning that one dollar into ten. That's what we do. Right. We take that money and we expand it so we can send back to Camp Hope. Right. It, it's a, it should be a great event. Uh, we're looking forward to it, too. Uh, all right, we, I'm getting that high sign. So is there anything else, Derek, that you'd like to add before we close? Yeah, so for those veterans that are, are truly struggling, we our, our main hub is down in Houston, and it's called Camp Hope. And Camp Hope is where we have a large facility where we can house veterans and their families if needed um, so they can actually get the help to, to really get past this post-traumatic stress. Um, we have a 11,300 square foot facility called the Yabara House. It's uh, four bays where we have 80 beds. Um, and we feed them, we clothe them, we counsel them, we, we provide classes from AA, NA, parenting, and then we have the spiritual aspect. We start to rebuild them spiritually and see if we can't get husbands, sons, 
back to their families, good, godly Christian men. This, uh, that's really marvelous. Uh, well, I, I, I'm, uh, I'm, it's glad to meet you. I'm, I'm real glad to meet you, Derek, and thanks for all that you do for the veterans. Yeah, thanks for having me. I appreciate it. And thank you for watching.